Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? Your man, Eric Wilson, Sports Arena, as we continue this process of introducing these young men to you who will be at the National Scouting Combine at the Grand Park Event Center in Indianapolis from March 7th to the 11th. Uh, one of the young men who I am bringing on is a wide receiver from Fort Valley. This is Mr. Adrian Adams. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Good afternoon, Mr. William. I'm doing fine. How about you? Doing very well. Thank you. I appreciate your time here on the Sports Arena. So, uh, you know, I want to talk to you, sir, about uh, what we're looking at here, which is your highlights. Why the wide receiver position? And more uh, importantly, just your love for the game. Well, my love of the game started when I was a kid, um, just playing it with my friends on the yard, on the street. And I received so much happiness doing it. I didn't receive this happiness doing anything else. So this love is stuck with me through high school, through now. And I'm chasing uh, my dream. That's awesome. So you know, when a wide receiver got to ask you, are you more of an outside guy or an inside slot receiver? Uh, with my speed, I have a track background. I can play outside. My mental toughness, my hands, I like to uh, go over the middle. So I can play both, not limited. I can do uh, both. Going over, the, going over the middle now, that can be a little dangerous. You know them linebackers are looking for you. Yes, sir. I so, love it. Okay. So just talk to me a little bit more about this. I mean, because, you know, wide receivers are held to a, such a high regard as far as being that go-to guy necessary on them third downs to make them catches and, and being able to just be able to, you know, keep the chains moving, if you will. Mm -hmm. What are some of the life lessons that you've had that have, you know, you, you've transitioned onto the field about always keeping that forward progression? Uh, next play, you always got to be mentally tough. You can't dwell on the last play. Uh, if you dwell on the last play, you can't focus on the next play. So uh, after that last play, my transition, my focus is on making a better play the next play. Awesome. All right, so I got to ask you the question that I'm asking everybody is very simply this. I know you can't pick which team you want to go to. I get that. But is there a team in your mind that you would want to go play for? And more importantly, why that team? If I had to play for a team, I would play the uh, for the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're the hometown team right across the bridge. I've been watching them since I was a kid. And uh, the weather's nice. Can't beat the warm weather. Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers adding a young man such as yourself to the mix. That would be very interesting to see. Um, you know, I actually, like you, am not that far from the area. So, um this would be, uh, I'm going to keep my eye on you since we are so close, sir. But again, Adrian Adams, wide receiver. I'm very excited to see what he and the rest of these young men do. Again, National Scouting Combine, Grand Park Event Center, March 7th to the 11th. Adrian, I appreciate your time, sir. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to meeting you and, and, and best of luck to you in your journey. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate that. No worries at all. Man, Eric Wilson, Sports Arena. Okay, this is a young cat. He he close to me. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him and make sure I check him out there. I'll talk to you guys really soon.